Hey, what's going on everybody? Big J Gleeze here, and we're gonna get into the shotgun tight here. And the first play we're gonna go over is the brown switch. Now this is what it's labeled or called in the custom playbook that I made. I believe it's called something else. But if you look at the play design, you'll be able to see which play I'm talking about. And the route on the right side, if we run this on the left hash, gets extremely open against any type of cover three defense. All you have to do is pass lead him down into the inside. The only adjustments that we're gonna make is to put B on a slant to the left. As you see, the corner post on the left side gets open against cover three and sits right in the zone. Works out really, really well. We also have the slant pattern and the out. And for some reason, that out, when it's on the left hash, just doesn't get guarded. It doesn't matter if they're in cover three or cover two, which you'll see in a minute. It also gets open against man. It just sits right in between those zones and it works out really, really well. And the B route on the left, we can actually put on a flat and then we can throw the running back to the flat. And it's almost like a homemade screen, particularly if someone tries to blitz you. So if someone tries to blitz, you can throw that out, you get two lead blockers, and we're out there for a big gain. So that's a really good way to keep the defense honest. The next thing we're going to do is take a look at this against a cover two defense. And against cover two, we're really able to have success both over the middle and up to the right side. As you see, we can lead the tight end on that wheel route up and to the right. And you can throw that right over that flat defender's head, which works out really well, particularly if you have enough time to throw it. And you can see right here, we're able to throw it again as we score six points and take the lead. Of course, we're always gonna take the lead because we're always winning, right? So right here, you can see the X pattern gets open on his second break against cover two. That X pattern is actually really, really good especially against man, which you'll see in a minute. Of course, we have the slant pattern. It goes across the middle. It gets open against cover two. And you'll see right here that the out actually does get open against cover two. It's really weird how this out route just doesn't get covered. But I guess from that particular set and formation and where he's aligned, the defense just doesn't cover him. Last but not least, we're gonna take a look at this play against a man defense. And against man, the out does get open. The X pattern is something that I'm really going to go over and emphasize with you. You'll see when I run that X pattern, I'm able to throw it on both the second break and the first break. So we'll take a look right here. We got the slant over on the right coming across the middle and that's gonna keep the defense on it so he can't guard both sides manually. So you'll see right here that the X pattern does get open on the second break, but next we're going to look at it on the first break. And if you know when he's going to break, you can lead him outside to the left and just bullet pass it. And we have a really big game there. We can really destroy man like this. And it causes the defense to have to manually guard that area. Also not shown, you can see that the A pattern does smoke man particularly if the guy that's manned on him is a linebacker. If it is a corner, sometimes you have to read it, but make sure that you're reading it before you throw it, but know that a lot of times that A pattern will get open against man. Now we're gonna go over your options from the right hash, and from the right hash, we're gonna run PA wide receiver cross. And when we run this play, we're just going to cancel the play action by blocking the running back and putting A on a slant to the left. And you'll notice that we have a very similar type of play to the left side of the field as we did to the right side of the field before, as Y gets wide open against any type of cover three defense. You can run those against cover four as well. You just have to make sure that you're careful and read the defense because sometimes that cover four guy will sit in the zone just in the right spot to make sure that he can make a play on that. So make sure that you're reading it. Also on the B pattern, we can lead him to the inside, click on and catch it. And again, that's a tight throw. It takes a little bit more skill than most of the throws that we're running in this playbook. So make sure that you're aware of that. Practice it. It's not something that you're just going to be able to go into a game and start throwing. You also have to read the zones underneath. If someone plays zone underneath, you're going to have to wind up making another pass because that will not be open and will get picked. So you have to read the zones underneath and make sure that there's space between the wide receiver, the linebacker underneath, and the safety over top. So you can see against man, both the X pattern and the A pattern get extremely open. Make sure you're tapping that X button getting down so you're not getting hit stick for that fumble. And last but not least, we're going to show against cover two. We can still get that wide receiver on the left on that wheel. That Y pattern will get open. He will not get open against man. So it's not like the first pattern. It's a little bit different. So he doesn't get open against man, but he does destroy basically any zone. You can see that the slant as well as the crossing pattern do get open against cover two. And the B receiver doesn't really get too open against cover two. It's a pretty hard throw to make. So I would make sure to stay away from that throw in that pattern if you read a cover two defense. Now, since these pass plays are so overpowered, luckily for us in this formation, there's actually a draw. And most people, when they see this formation and you start throwing the ball downfield, like I was just showing you, they're gonna wind up playing a lot of coverage. They're gonna be dropping their linemen 
off into coverage to help protect against the pass. And this is where the draw comes in. So since the draw is a delayed handoff, the defense drops back, we're able to get some space, and we're able to get a big gain. So you're probably wondering, what other play do I run from this set? Well, that's going to be up to you. Me in particular, I happen to like the bench swap. And the reason why I like the bench swap is particularly because of the running back route. That running back route gets open every single time, no matter the coverage. The only time it does get guarded is against man. But if someone's playing man, we have every other route to throw. So it's something that we just have to read off the snap. There are a lot of options and play combinations that you can make with this play. You can put Y on a flat to pull down the flat defender and throw the corner ball. You can put people on slants and drags. There's a lot of things that you can do with this. Just make sure that you're switching it up and you're keeping the defense honest with both the homemade screen and the other plays in this formation. What I want you to do is leave a comment down in the comment section below and discuss what you use in particular on that particular play. So on bench swap, what are the route combinations that you use? I'll be making a video in the future highlighting some of those comments and make sure to give you credit in that video. Also, I want to thank Shopmaster for allowing me to post a mini scheme and a supplement to this ebook on his channel. I'll put the link down in the description below. It goes over one of the pistol formations in the Buffalo Bills playbook. So if you're using this playbook, that's something that you definitely want to check out. Shopmaster has been an awesome advocate for positivity in the Madden community. He's done a lot of great things and he's someone that I personally have admired for a long time. So it's an honor for me to actually post a video on his channel. Make sure you check it out and subscribe to his channel as his videos are pretty awesome. So we have one more video left in this Buffalo Bills ebook series. Make sure you click that subscribe button if you haven't already to stay updated as to when that video goes out. Thanks for checking in. It's Big J Glee signing out and continue to game strong.